All right, thanks so much for coming to today's onboarding. We appreciate you. It hasn't been a busy class like this since 09. Anyway, today we're going to go over some do's and don'ts of this office culture and what works and what doesn't work. Any questions? Anybody? Anybody at all? Yeah, uh, I, I have a question. Um, uh, actually, never mind. No, I guess I'm fine. All right now. All right, so come with me and I'll show you around the premise some more. Right in here we have the laundry room. You'll need this after you get your promotion. Clean up all that stuff on your shirt usually if he's nice. If you happen to walk by the CEO, the first thing you're going to want to do is assume this position. You have to kind of treat him like a gorilla, like a silverback gorilla out in the wild. He's very territorial. He prefers if you have both hands flat on the surface, right there. Uh, this might attract some unwanted attention. He might grab your hand and take it. We do have an on-site gym, which is one of my favorite things. We do, uh, most of the time, this is reserved for the CEO. He does, he does like to lift his weights. He likes to go heavy. He likes to go hard. You can ask any of those women at Candy's Cookie Jar. This is my favorite machine. I don't do a lot of this lifting of the weights, but I do a little cardio every now and then, and I can look right over the golf course. Let me show you what it looks like to see an athlete middle manager. I usually go about, I usually go about uh, three miles an hour for about 20 minutes. Gets my heart rate up, gets me elevated. Look at him go. Look. He's about to hit that ball right out the sand pit right there. I mean, some people like to listen to music. I like to watch golf balls. Now one thing you definitely do not want to do around this office is make eye contact with the CEO. Our CEO is very, and I repeat, very territorial. He will take action if you do not divert your gaze. An unwritten rule we have here, you won't find it up here because it's kind of a sensitive topic, is if you happen to be walking past the CEO in a hallway, make sure to assume his height. And I don't mean guess how tall he is, I mean shrink down to his height. He is five foot five. And he's a little bit sensitive about it. I prefer the heavyweights over here, these 10 pounders. <laughs> we'll do some deep swimmer press where you hold them like this. And you bring one in for a curl and another one in. And then you raise them up over your head. Oh, that's heavy stuff. <sighs> really building those muscles. <laughs> Any ladies out there watching? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not into those. Anyways, let me show you the kitchen. All right, let me give you a little play-by-play -play of what this looks like in action. Let's say the CEO is coming straight at you. What you need to do? You got to take your eyes, divert your gaze, look down like this. Step two, you're going to need to shrink down to his height if you're not already his height or shorter. Step three, if he's still approaching you at a quicker rate, you'll need to get down on your knees and assume the lotus position. Pray for his mercy and thank you for his blessings. Once you do that, he should pass. After he has passed, you may again arise to his height until he is no longer in your eyesight, in which you may take your gaze back to where you were, assume the position, and you can begin working again. Now, another important topic we need to talk about here are the tools of the trade. Here at Alpha Male Strategies Incorporated, we use state-of-the-art modern Crayola crayons. This is how we communicate in the office. This is something of a personal favorite, and I'm not really allowed to show this off, but if you get real close in here, look at this. Listen. This is what the CEO bought for me for my 10-year anniversary. You hear this right here? Oh, that's the purr of an HP printer. Listen to it, hum. Prints off those pips faster than you can say, wait, I'm fired? <laughs> Nothing gets me excited more than an HP printer straight off the factory. <sighs> Smells like fresh ink. Alpha males are not allowed to show their emotions. So we started using crayons, and this started when our CEO had a temper tantrum and started writing on the walls. Now there is a caveat to using crayons at the office, and that is to never use the same color as the CEO is using. We give everyone their own bed, at least once you make it to middle management. Before you get to middle management, you're looking at something like this. The CEO believes that you should sleep upright for your first three years of service and then you can graduate to a horizontal bed right here which fits a total of one middle manager. There's actually only one intern, it's this one right here. Hello? 
Now you might be wondering why you're here. Why are we hiring? And that is because this is our current state of the company. Our CEO is quite the guy. We admire him, but he does some things with investor dollars that aren't, at least in my opinion and the accountant's opinion, is not smart. He has taken almost every single investor dollar and has spent it at a club called Candy's Cookie Jar. Every good middle manager needs the right cut, so you take, you take the comb and you just get it right there. And you say, you know what? Hello, bald spot. Goodbye, bald spot. It's just that simple. You take, you take this, you separate it right here. You really got to get that over, over the glasses look. Kind of. They say I look like Ted Bundy, but I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. I do have some people in my drawers. <laughs> Things have just gotten out of control, so we need you to take this and at least make it horizontal because we're losing money left and right. Uh, one of the investors told me this ship is sinking and it's sinking fast. Another one of our angel investors goes and I quote, this is the biggest dumpster fire I've ever invested a single dollar in. To which we were okay with because we are disrupting the industry and that's something we're proud of. As a middle manager, I couldn't ask for a better view. I mean, is he gonna get a hole in one? Even if he doesn't get that ball in, he's gonna get a hole in one later tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Just an old middle management joke. Now you might be wondering what exactly it is we do here at Alpha Male Strategies Incorporated. Well, have you ever been browsing the internet on a lonely night and you see those buttons that say, cute grandmas in your area, cute Russian women in your zip code now, cute moms in your area wanting you tonight. Who do you think sources all those women? Okay, no teeth, never any teeth. Okay, that is a cardinal sin when the investors are around. Maybe we'll make it to a Series D. Now, I don't know if you know what the D in Series D stands for, but if you look at this photo, you just might be able to make that connection. All right, I think that just about wraps it up for our onboarding session today. Again, I'd like to thank you personally for being here, and I'll thank you again a little bit later. Don't ask what that means, just believe me. Um, are there any questions? It's a busy class. Now's your moment. Any questions? All right. Well, I guess I'll give you a tour, show you around the office a little bit, show you what it's like to work here. <laughs>